Hello and welcome to another Watson's Whiskey Review. So, March 2021. If you're new to my channel and newly subscribed, thank you very much. Very much appreciated. The idea of my channel is to educate you guys on whiskey all under £100, $100, $100, Euros, whatever it is you want to say. Um, I'll tell you what to drink neat, what not to drink neat, what not to drink at all, and what to mix with cola, what to be as a whiskey cocktail. Um, so tonight we're doing the Hague Clubman. Bit of a controversial whiskey this one. It's the David Beckham endorsed whiskey. Comes in a lovely blue bottle and it's a single grain scotch. So it's a scotch, we know it's three years old. Can't be called scotch until it's three years old. So we know it's, we know it's three years old in a barrel. What's a single grain? Well, it's very different to a single malt. It could be any one of the cereals. It could be barley, it could be wheat, it could be corn, it could be rye. It doesn't specify which one, but it's one of them and then none of them are malted. That's why it's a grain. So it's a single grain whiskey. Um, like I said, to be called a scotch, you need to be in a barrel for at least three years. So let's get him out. Let's have a look. Nice little bottle actually, isn't it? Nice little blue bottle. Nice. I wonder if Beckham actually drinks this. Who knows? Who knows? Anyway. That's very, very light on colour. I'm guessing three years in the barrel and they take it straight out and bottle that. Let's get some money. Look at the colour of that. It's a very, very light colour. Let's go on the nose, see what we've got. Bugger all. Very astringent on the nose. Little faint hits of vanilla. A little bit of butterscotch. There's literally not a lot there. I'm picking up a lot of alcohol. It's bottled at 40%. I think it's this is a mixing whiskey. It's a cocktail whiskey. It's to go with cola, to go with lemonade, to go with ginger ale. Let's have a taste. A little bit of sweetness there, definitely vanilla, definitely toffee, definitely caramel, butterscotch and biscuit. But they're so faint, they are so, so faint, you won't believe it. Literally in the background of the background and there's no finish. Absolutely no finish. I need to have another sip just to see if there is a finish. That's very, very bland. It's slightly spiky, slightly kind of spicy, but not in a good way. It almost tastes like a white rum. It's got like a white rum kind of flavour to it. That colour, that's three years old. I believe they, they mature this in a bourbon cask. So that's where you get the vanilla and your toffee and your biscuit and your caramel. That's a very bland whiskey. I'm not sure I'd drink that again neat. Yeah, I think it'll go great with Coke, lemonade, ginger ale, apple juice, or whatever you want to else put it with, if you want to taste your mixer. I don't think you're gonna drink this neat. It doesn't taste very nice. I think this whiskey's been made to be mixed. This whiskey's been made to be a cocktail whiskey. If you want to taste the mixer, if that makes sense. If you like orange juice, but you want to get drunk, mix this with orange juice, you'll taste the orange juice. Because that's a very bland, non-taste whiskey. There's nothing to it. There's nothing to that whiskey. Almost embarrassed I had to bring that to you guys tonight, but it's got to be done. Like I said, all my reviews, under £100. £26 a bottle. Got to, got to put it out there. Got to show you guys what to do. If you like your JD, JD and Coke. And find JD slightly too sweet, that'll probably suit you. That'd be great, just with some coke, with some lemonade. That'll be good. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the review. I'll be back soon doing lots more. Speak to you soon.